So over here, you can see that I have this diagram right here, and then it is in a certain layout. If you want to go around and change the arrangement of the shapes, then you can go around and change the layout option by going around onto the arrange menu right here and by going into the layout option. So once you do that, if you were to choose horizontal flow, then you can see that the layout now changes to horizontal look right here. Similarly, you can go around to his vertical flow so that the layout is vertical and everything arranges out accordingly as you can see right here. Similarly, you can go around and choose horizontal tree as well, decide the spacing. So I just kept it to default and you can see that this is what you have. But if I were to go to horizontal tree right here and choose the spacing to be 50 and apply it, you can see that the spacing increases. So if I were to go around onto the layout and select out vertical tree right here, so I'm just going to keep the uh, spacing as default and you can see that this is what you have right here. You can go around over here onto layout and select radial tree right here as well. And you can see that the, uh, uh, that the uh, diagram turns a bit radial right here. Let me just go around over here onto radial tree and select out 20, let's say for example, and you can see that this is what you have right here. It get, goes, goes to more of a radial look. So let me just go around over here onto uh, the layout option and choose organic and press OK and you can see that it uh, arranges out in more of an organic way right here. Go around onto layout and you can choose circle and you get more of a circular look right here. And similarly, you can go around to the organizational chart right here and it, it goes more on to the organizational chart layout right there just like this. You can go around to parallels over here just like this as well and select out different layouts and as long as they are valid, you can go around and then change that out right here. So you can see that you can also add in codes right here for the cells according to how you want right here and apply it and everything else changes out accordingly as well uh, in the custom section right here. So that is how you can work around with the layout arrangement options inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.